Those affected by the alleged bribery schemes include people working in good faith to solve Hawaii's cesspool problem. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. Advocates working on behalf of the mandate to get rid of nearly 90,000 cesspools in Hawaii by 2050 say it is disheartening to see alleged pay to play politics getting in the way of legitimate momentum. The feds allege well connected business pressure and money were behind bribes to facilitate, then to make disappear, bills that would have expedited big wastewater projects. We hear that people were. You know, at first supporting these bills and then, you know, trying to kill them just, you know, is incredibly frustrating um, for, for nonprofits like us, but also just as an individual. This is where, why people say politics is often a cesspool. This is occurring in our elected officials and people who have been placed in office uh, to protect us, to be public servants. Uh, not personal uh, servants. And so this is, uh, again, a very disturbing um, uh, trend that we are seeing uh, in, in government. Always investigating followed where the feds say the money went. The feds allege someone called Person A wanted Kalani English and Ty Cullen to spur and then spurn legislation that would have supported cesspool conversions. We checked past legislative sessions and saw bill after bill on the topic move along and then hit a wall. Now advocates say it's making a little more sense why something so important fizzled time and again at the Capitol. It just really kind of puts a pall over the, the Capitol. Um, but you have to just, I have to remind myself that it's just a few bad apples, as they say, you know, that the whole system... Um, isn't this way. We should not turn away because when we turn away we allow bad actors to take hold and so that's what I say. Uh, we should uh, uh, watch more closely, uh, be more vigilant because this is uh, the people's house. Part of the alleged scheme was to help tee up person A's business to reap the profits when eventually the big government funded cesspool projects would go out for state or county bid. Advocates of proper wastewater management say the alleged scheme was remarkably short-sighted due to the scope of work out there for the taking in Hawaii. It's a huge problem. This is a two to four billion dollar problem to convert all the cesspools across the state. Not only is it morally wrong and ethically wrong, you know, but it was also just practically kind of silly because there's going to be enough business for everyone. The feds say person A also wanted English's help keeping tabs on the cesspool conversion working group. Officials, volunteers, and other stakeholders who have worked for years on how to stem the flow of 53 million gallons of raw sewage that cesspools allow each day into Hawaii's waters. At one point, English was a member of that working group. I know that uh, Senator English wasn't in any of the meetings. According to the feds, English told Person A he doesn't attend purposefully, saying, I don't want to overshadow their work. But feds say he slipped Person A an unpublished draft committee report that could have given the company a leg up on the bidding. We reached out to county and state agencies that issue wastewater bids to ask how they ensure contracts aren't influenced by bribes or other improprieties. We have yet to hear back. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.